Hello everyone and welcome back to Real Time LEGO Builds. Today we have a 1974 Porsche 911 Turbo. Saw this at Target the other day and figured I have to have it and build it. One of my favorite cars and this is only 180 pieces. So hopefully it doesn't take us more than a half hour considering this is a real time video. Let's go look at how the photos look like it's going to be finished. It's going to have a little guy there. And you can also drive this in Forza Horizon 4. Obviously I don't have Xbox, I'm a PlayStation person, so we can't play it, but let's build the car. Let's see what's going to come in this box. And let's see, let's open this nice and gently. We do want to save the box for later. Instructions, okay. Decals too, okay, perfect. And one more. I have a feeling this might take us more than a half hour. You know, put those put those over there. Oh, look at this. We can also get the Lego app to scan it and get the instructions. I wonder if you can get the instructions on your PC, though. That would be quite clever. So which guy are we building first? Okay, so we're going to build the guy first, so we're going to build... Well, I guess let's go in order. Considering this is going to be a real time build. Um, where was this guy? Is he going to be in here? Where's parts of him in here? Well, parts of him are in here. Does he have two helmets? Yes, he does have two helmets. Look at that. Okay. And I'm pretty sure this is going to take us more than a half hour, guys. I definitely see that happening. Right, hopefully you guys can see everything. I'll try to move stuff into the camera view. Hopefully I don't hit the camera. I'm actually using my iPhone for this with a little condenser mic plugged into it. For the rest of you who want to do the same thing or planning on doing videos on everything else. Make sure not to lose anything. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh, look at that. There's a little piece stuck in here. Which might not come out. <laughs> okay, hopefully he's got a spare helmet somewhere. Oh, I found the steering wheel. It's a start. Do you guys see his body in here? Or oh, it's not in here, okay. It's gotta be in this bag. Oops, trying to make sure that we, let's see. Okay, first we gotta get this little piece out, which, look at this, look, how did this happen? How am I gonna get this piece out? Okay, forget it, we'll just, we'll leave that for later. Oh yeah, there's the QR codes to scan. I guess on the next video, I have the McLaren, I have the McLaren Cena, and I've got a few other ones. So get this box out of the way, and what we'll do is we will try to do the app. I do have an iPad, so we'll take that out, and maybe we can get the iPad screen to be on the video as well while I build it. These instructions are not staying correctly. Hey, well, found his torso. It's got a little Porsche jacket with a little bomber jacket, it looks like. Or is it a newer age leather jacket? Now oh, we gotta find his legs. Oh, here are his legs. 
and his hands. Beautiful. Now we need his head. He looks very evil. Look at him. Though well, he's driving a Porsche, so he should naturally be a little evil. So do we gotta put his hair on first or do we put his helmet on first? Well, let's give him some hair first. And there we go, he's got some hair. The helmet's got a piece stuck into it. Oh, there we go. I got the piece out. Let's find the visor. Looks like there's two visors. It's quite clever. That's good. In case you break one. I see two visors. So. Let's get the visor on there. Look at that. Hmm. Let's take his hair off. Let's give him a racing helmet. He's gonna need it driving an old classic Porsche like that. Let's put him to the side. And now, what do we do? We got three of these little orange things, like the manual says. There they are. Actually, we got four. Three little cones. And there's one. There's two. S3. All right. Oh, yeah, you guys can see the page. Yep, three times. Let's get started on the actual car now. One yellow three piece, which it looks like they gave us two. In case we lose one, I'm guessing. And what do we got here? We are looking for this piece. I know if you guys are watching it, you guys could probably see it a lot better than I am. Because I do have a camera in front of me and a light and two other lights blaring into my face. So I'm having a little trouble. So we got that going. Are we building the... It looks... You know what? We might be building the frame of the car. Or the chassis as they call it. And it goes there. Find the other one. Um, okay. Look at that. We built part one of the floor. You can see it right there. Okay, look at this now. We need, okay, so this is where the wheels are gonna go through, I'm guessing. So there's gonna be two of these. And they'll go like that. Where's the other one? We should, we should probably have four of these, obviously. Front and back wheels. Oh, we just need little black mark. Okay, there it is. And there's one. Beautiful. So we got that. We need the other yellow piece, which is over here. It goes up like that, a little red one that we got here. And either this is the back part of the chassis or the front. We'll find out in a little bit. Okay, so now we gotta find whatever this thing is. And it's under here. 
Does anybody see it? Oh, it's gray, not black. Okay. It's going to go like that. And now we need some wheel arches, which are going to be white, obviously. And they go like this. Okay, so yes, they're going to go like, oopsies. They go like this, and we need that little piece, which must be this, right? That goes there. Okay, it's interesting. Okay. Now let's build. Wait, let me take a look at this. Okay, so these instructions are a little bit. Okay, so this piece is done, which is that. Now look what we got here. Is this the photo of what we're going to be building? Guess let's get this piece, which is this one. We'll get the, so this must be the back part of the car. Well, that is the front, I believe. Or I could be mistaken, but. Oh, there's the other one. We need a red one to go three up, two down, like that. And some elbows we need. I'm guessing they are white. And they go like this. Right. Okay, this is that. Let's find the other elbow. Maybe we should do one of these videos live so you guys can actually comment while I'm doing this. Could also be kind of helpful. As I'm having trouble finding. Oh, there's the other one. It was right in front of me. Goes like that. Okay. Now we need some blue ones. Okay two of them and it goes like that it's a nice color combo and two white pieces of double four guessing that and that Beautiful. And then this looks like a cross member. Basically, just the support of the Legos, though. But in a car, it would support the cross section of the car. And then we apparently mate these together. I am guessing like this. And I believe we have completed the chassis to some extent. Well, what are we gonna do for wheel arches back here? I guess we'll find out on the next page. Ah, there we go. Now we start finding out some stuff. Okay. Let's see what we got. We need that and that. And I'm guessing, nope, nope. There it is. And it goes right there. We need one more for the other side. And
And then we need the covers that go up over this. Oh, here's one. Look at that, beautiful. There's the other one. The running boards, basically. And now, let's take a look at the other side of this. Two white ones, two of these cream colored ones. So there's those two. Let's see, get some white ones now. One, two. And they go like this. And they'll go on each side like that. And like that. Okay. Look at that. We are getting somewhere. And we're 16 minutes in. Let's see how much longer this takes. And now we need to find some kind of something like this, it looks like. Something's gonna attach to these, I'm not sure what, but we'll find out in a second. That goes there. We need two more little black covers. There's one. Let's see where the other one is. There we go. That part's done. Now we gotta do it again for the back, as you can see here. But it looks like we're gonna be putting singular so they so something sticks to it. Where are the other ones? Okay, so we got two more. And one goes there. This is not it. This must be it. Then these little singular ones will go there. So it looks like something's going to attach to them. And complete for that section. Now we need to find, I'm guessing, these pieces. Um, two of them. And they go over that section there. And that section there. Like that. Okay, and now this part. There are those two. And these two, there we go. Cream colored and brown colored ones. And they go, I believe, like that. So actually, let's put that in like that. OK, perfect. And she was speeding along quite well. And I'm sure there's going to be a hiccup now that I said that. You know, the red two thing that goes there and a black four goes there okay this looks like we're building the front bumper it looks like what we are we need one of these one of these. Okay, let's build the front bumper of this car now. Let's put the car to the side here. 
Okay, there's the front bumper. And the edges with the see black post on the bottom of them. Here's one. And there's the other. I guess we should get some decals out here. So number one decal goes on these. Look at that, it's already got my fingerprints on them. We gotta be very careful. We wanna put it on evenly. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Hopefully we get the other side on just as well. Now back in the day, a lot of the Lego stuff from when I remember as a kid, some of these were stickers or they were actually like sticker stickers, not like clear like this. Then I remember some you had to actually use water to get onto them and those were the worst. But I think they did away with those pretty quickly. And this is a little bit sideways, but it's okay. Can we move it with our fingers? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, not too much, okay. It's okay. We're not looking for perfection here. We're not gonna keep the whole day doing this look build. But okay, so we got those decals on. Let's put the decals on the side there. So we gotta get something that looks like Oh, there it is. And this is, what was this? Is this a 76? So this is going to have the rubber front bumpers and the rear bumpers. That was a US safety thing. And the cars were pretty ugly, but everyone tried their best to make the cars look great with them. For all of you kids who don't know anything about the 70s cars, they, they want everything. The Mustangs, the Porsches, the MGBs. And okay, this is interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this black thing goes here, just like the tow hook. Kind of weird. The singular thing goes here. And then we need a little piece like this. Okay, let's go back to our car. And it goes to the front here. Wait, no. Wrong way. It goes like this. Toe hook for sure. Oh, that's the back. That's the exhaust. Okay. Should have known that. I am a mechanic as well. Well, used to be. All right, let's get the front splitter and the front nose. Okay. Like that. Um, we need the front. The little is this it? That is it. Let's get sticker number two. And it says turbo. And did not get that straight, but it's the best that's gonna happen. It's 
okay. 70s and the 80s were a wild time. Everything was sideways. Some of you might get that. Some of you might be very confused. Okay, let's put these little posts there. And what do we got? We need two white pieces that go there. Where's the other one? Oh, are they gray? Nope, they gotta be white because there's no gray ones of these. And a four, four, four. Let's see what we got here. Just make sure we don't have anything buried underneath there. No, we don't. Okay, and it goes like this. Okay, we got that part of the nose on. So wait, this is the front, not the rear. Actually, no, this is the rear because it says turbo on it. I'm very confused there. Yeah, this is the back. Wow, I thought I was building the front splitter. I am all over the place today. And I should know my Porsches too. But that is the back. That is the back of the Porsche. Okay. That's embarrassing. Then this goes here, I believe. Right? No, it doesn't go there. It goes here. So two of these go there. Let's find another one. Um, this must go right there. And okay. It's the back of the Porsche. It looks really well, actually. Tail light is being red. I should have realized that. I can't believe that. I feel very embarrassed now. And this must go right here. This big four piece. Wheel arches go on the front. Do they go like that? It looks like they do. Yep, that's how they go. Okay, we are getting close, but we are nearing a half hour for this video, so yeah, that was a little bit correct. Oh. Found an axle. Now we need the steering column in this white piece which goes I'm guessing right there and we have the steering wheel somewhere yeah, there it is let's put the steering wheel in so our little character can drive it let's make sure I got that secured she so doesn't have an accident and now I believe we are finally going to build the nose of the car. I hope so. Uh, okay, this is the nose. And these are those. This must be it. Okay, that's where that goes. And obviously these four. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
then we need this piece as well. It goes under here. And I'm guessing it goes right under there like that. It does. That must be it. Snaps in right like that. Two more of the blue things that go right there. This is more of support to keep the Lego pieces together. We might be halfway through this. Okay, let's get one of these. these and one of these and it goes right in like that look at that snapped in okay more decals there um, we need this And that, and that, and now we need to put the turn signals on, which is number three on the decal sheet. Let's try to get this straight this time. Mm, okay. There it goes. Got that side on straight. Should I get the other side on straight now? I'm actually glad they got you putting on the, the decals as you put the stuff together. Some of the older kits from I remember in the 90s it told you to put the decals on after, which was really a pain. And. There we go. And then we got to put seven and eight. Okay, so it's going to go on this side. like how it goes and uh, let's see if I can get this on uh, a little off but it's okay And our front bumper. Okay. So here we have it. Let's get ooh, one of these only. Oh, we should have two of these. There's one. There's two. There's one. Two, three, ooh, we, oh no, no, I'm missing one. It's about to get a little bit worried there. So they go in like this, 
But where do they go? Oh, okay. They go like that. That's where they go. And we'll put them in together. And they go on the corners here. Then it goes. Does it really go in like that? I guess it does. It goes right. Yeah. And the steering wheel moves too. That's cool. Okay, so we got one big one. Where are you? There you are. Two small ones. Actually, no, there's three of these big ones. Nope, not these ones. We want the singular ones. These pieces right there. Six. Let's get number six. Decal number six. Okay. The Porsche logo. Obviously licensed by Porsche. This is a licensed Porsche product. We also do have the Ferrari one here, so we're going to do that as well. To straighten this out. The Porsche logo can't be quicked, but now I can't even get the stick off. It's gonna be right in the center. Nope, that's as best as it's gonna get. And it goes like that. These go right there. And that is the front. That is beautiful. Now we got to get some posts again. These two white ones go there. Um, corner white ones, I'm guessing, like this. And they'll go like that. And perfect. Now let's get the rest of this. That goes there, I'm guessing. This guy goes over here. Um, there's the other one. And that goes there. Okay, it's really resembling a car now. And now for the fun part. Let's get these wheels on their axles and their hubs. And we got two of these white things, right? Okay. No, these are going to be the lights. These look like they are the lights. And uh, which way is it going to go? And like that. Need a little clear cover for the top of this, like that. And this goes in here. So we are doing the right side, it looks like, and it goes in these little holes there. 
the font there if you can see it. And it snaps right in there. Now we do the other side. Clear cover. Oops, goes like that. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a little. This is Lego on it. Does the other one say something? It does. Look at that. And it snaps into the other side, just like we did on the previous side. And perfect. Now it's smiling at us. Okay, so. Focusing these two. One, two, three, four. This goes like that. Like that. And then a singular one we need. It should be this. And it goes over the door jam like. Uh, let me see. And it goes in like that. There is the door, which is not really much of a door. Okay, step forty-four. Forty-six would be the same way, except we're going to be doing it. This a single piece like that, and then it goes right here. Let's snap it in nice and tight. And that door is done. Now another full piece which goes. No, it's going to go right here. We need this and this. So this will go like that and like that. OK. That goes there. Okay, the body looks like it's almost done. And the two big ones that are left, which look like they go here. So five and four. Okay. Let's try to do a better job getting this straight. Nope, 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 there it is. Let's get it right there. Looks like it's the back window. It technically could also be the engine bay where the fans are, but I doubt it. 
I think this is the back window decals. And they go over here like that. Oops, wrong way. Yep. All right. Looks like we're going to start assembling. Okay, let's just make sure we got everything around here. We need that. We need this, which goes over that. Um, two of these, right? And so what that comes out to. These little white pieces. With the clear tops. Two of these to go on this side. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And that goes there. That goes there. And now we got, yeah, so this is the tail. Okay, that's pretty cool. So the tail section is going to go. Like that. Yes, it's gonna go. So it's gonna go. That piece will go there. Now let's see these will go like that. I believe that's how it goes. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, and this is the engine bay covers. This is where all the fans come out for the to cool down the air cooled engine. Oh yes, so it, it went back here. There it is. There's the back. Well, actually, that looks really cool. That is really well. It's very good details there, especially for Legos. And let's find this. And this goes like that. No, it's going to go like that, huh? Interesting. And we must have something. OK, well, here are the wheels. So let's see, are you directional wheels? No, you are not directional wheels. So let's put these on. Okay, this is actually I'm trying to see if these are directional wheels. No, they will definitely not go like that. Well, actually, yes, they do. According to the box, I've got a bit of a lip. But they go like that. Look at that. Oops, sorry, guys. Let's look at these instructions some more. So technically we're supposed to put them in like this. 
and they go in like that. So, which way did I put the ties on? Okay, let's put them on like that. Where was the other one? Put all the ties on the other ones as well. And it looks like we are basically almost done. Um, is that? And we'll put that on this side. So almost an hour into this, and I think we are. Almost complete. So it wants us to put it through the passenger side. Let's put the wheel for the passenger side. those in the wrong way, the right way. Let's get the single lug nuts on, which Porsche has on their GT3 RS cars, but not on the regular consumer cars, like this Lego is telling us. Okay, so we got that. Let's get our driver into the car. Is he standing in this or does he sit down? He's gotta be sitting down for sure, right? There he is, he's in there. Then we put that right back on top. And that's it. And then we got the little cones. Not sure what the cones are for. But that is interesting. So there it is. And you put the little cones and so nobody hits you. And that is the Porsche. There it is, guys. Took us. I don't know, close to an hour to make, but it's actually really good details. Actually, really nice. Let's see. Moves nice and nice and smooth. He looks happy in there. Look at him. All the decals are nice. Can't really see the turbo decal there because of the wing, but that's it, guys. All right, guys. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, like, and comment below. Let me know which other cars you want to make, but we will be doing a McLaren, a Ferrari, and an Audi over the next couple weeks, and they'll be uploaded every Friday. All right, guys.